Ah, yes, it's fall in the mountains, and it's times like these that make me appreciate having our camper van even more. The ability to improvise and live spontaneously is enhanced greatly by owning a van like this. Oftentimes, the trips we go on are not pre-planned. We don't even have a destination in mind, but we just start driving, and the journey rarely disappoints. I can't tell you how many times we've jumped in the van with no idea where we are headed, and we will just find someplace cool that we won't want to leave. So we don't. We just stay overnight in the van. Our van would be considered minimalist by some, but honestly, it has everything we could ever need. We have a toilet. We have a portable shower. A small kitchen with a sink and cooler. We have autonomous power from a Goal Zero Yeti 1000. We have interior lights and plenty of ventilation from the max air fan and the slider windows above the bed. We even have enough room to practice yoga inside the van. We can fit our two paddle boards in the back and attach our bike rack whenever we want to bring along our mountain bikes. All in all, we built this van ourselves for around $3,000, and in this video, I'm going to show you our exact setup, and I'll be sure to put links in the description for all the things we use to make our budget-friendly, cozy camper van. <laughs> So this is our van. You might have noticed from other clips that there was a back seat in some of the clips and we can take that seat out and put it back in as we please. Uh, but it's out for now and I kind of like it better that way. So we have a water jug with a water dispenser, a cooler, it's kind of a Yeti knockoff. Um, we have our sink set up and I have another video talking about that in more detail. Um, but yeah, this is the general layout of the van. Underneath here, we have the Thetford Porta Potty cassette toilet. This thing is really awesome. I can't recommend it highly enough. I recently installed the drawer, so it's really easy to push in and out when you need it. Um, above the bed there, you can see we have the CR Lawrence slider windows and they both have screens in them and this is really awesome because when you turn on the max air fan in the ceiling it creates a really nice breeze so when you're sleeping at night you're getting hit with a nice cool breeze at all times um, underneath the bed we have the goal zero yeti 1000 we use this to power the fan as well as the lights. I have lights installed underneath the bed uh, so you can see when you open the doors in the back as well as in the front and then above the bed so when you're cooking or if you're laying in bed and you want to read a book or something you have plenty of light any time of day or night. And I can easily turn on and off the lights with these little switches that I bought on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below for that. But I really like the Yeti Goal Zero, and I highly recommend it. So this is just kind of a snapshot of the general layout of the van. Over here, we have a Drift Sun 75 quart cooler. It's basically a Yeti knockoff, but it works just as well as a Yeti and it's about half the price and next to that our filtered water we use these dispensers for multiple things in the van I'll put a link for them as well in the description um, over here we have our coat rack I just built that out of a metal pipe pretty industrial and functional and just a general hanging storage closet for all of our miscellaneous items. I have another video about our sink setup. Go, I go into a lot of detail about that, so I'll link that above, so you can click on that if you want more details about our sink setup. In the back of the van, we have the Rocky Mounts Swing Away double bike rack there. Um, which allows us to open up the doors, which is pretty nice while having the bikes in the back. So in the back of the van, I use these uh, Rubbermaid Fast Track storage containers. I really like them. They hold up well, 
and I have a few of them throughout the van um, and another extra water jug in the back. Um, the van came with the gray plastic cutouts that were, it's kind of like the trim piece, and I used that to trace onto a three-quarter inch piece of plywood that I used as a backer so I could screw things into, and that's what's holding up the bed as well. I screwed that directly into the metal frame of the van, and then I lined over top of the wood with a recycled uh, carpet that I found at the Home Depot. It was pretty cheap. It was like 15 bucks for a roll, and I only used one roll. And here you can see the back of the coat hanger that I built out of metal pipes. Pretty basic, but really strong, so it holds up well. And you just get the backside view of the box I built for around the toilet. Uh, we just used some basic containers to hold the grill and pots and pans and stuff like that. These are our two boat boards, so we can fit those in there with no problem. Those are our paddle boards. I really like that brand, by the way. I'll put a link for those as well. And yeah, we got plenty of storage in the back, and there's lighting back here as well. So if I need to get back here at nighttime, I can see with no problem. So yeah, it's a great minimalist layout, all for only $3,000. So if you're thinking about outfitting a sprinter van or really any kind of van and you're worried about it costing a ton of money, it doesn't necessarily have to. You know, I really think that we have everything we need. I have friends that have fancy sprinter vans and they've spent ridiculous amounts of money and that's cool too. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm more of the minimalist get it done for as little as possible kind of guy and I think there's a lot of people that can vibe with that so I hope this video helped give you some ideas for your van builds and let me know if you have any questions or comments below thanks